I grew up in Southern California and I always enjoyed science and math. I remember sometime during the, the time that Neil Armstrong was in the moon walking outside and looking at the moon and thinking it was just fascinating that we had a human on the moon, that I could look up in the sky at another celestial body out there in the universe and know that there was a human standing on the moon. I thought that was a fascinating idea. When I was an undergraduate physics major at Stanford, they started taking women astronauts and they started taking women astronauts who had degrees and subjects that I was interested in. Subjects like math and science and engineering and medicine. So I was on a career track to get a degree that was, would be attractive um, to NASA in terms of the types of candidates that they were looking for. So really it's when I was an undergraduate at Stanford in physics that I thought, you know, someday I might have a shot. As an astronaut, you get a lot of experience working on multidisciplinary teams. So that expertise um, translates very well to coming to Lawrence Livermore Lab because, again, you build a team to accomplish an important project or program, and it requires all different types of expertise. Have I ever perceived any limitations because I'm a woman? I think that an ability to ignore bad advice is important. I think that there are sometimes people along the way who aren't as encouraging of women, but I think there are so many more people who do encourage girls and young women in science and math that you have to listen to those voices and sort of ignore the others. There are other women who have thought about whether or not they should pursue higher education while working here at at Livermore and so uh, several of those women I have encouraged um, to pursue that because what I like to tell them is it's going to be hard but you only have to do it once. <music>